doing and welcome back to another video I'm back up to Hillside uh, we're back on Pads Lake today and a bit of an impromptu video this one because I wasn't planning on filming this session I don't know how this audio will be by the way because I didn't bring my microphone um, but yeah impromptu because I didn't want to film this session um, I just wanted to come and relax and anyone out there that's videoed any of the sessions and stuff before for YouTube knows that it adds that extra element of sort of stress pressure and just things to do while you're on the bank so I've not been out uh, for a little bit and I wanted to relax. I've been quite busy recently, so I just wanted to come up here and relax. However, I did bring my camera for pictures and then I went and caught a PB. Finally, uh, my mission to catch a new PB has been successful. So I thought I'd just throw together this quick video and show you the new PB. So I've been stuck on, in fact, before that, I'm going to, this video is going to be a little bit about how I came to sort of get to my PB in the end. Um, some of the things that I changed in my fishing and the reasons why um, which led to today thankfully so firstly I was my PB was a 21.5 which was from linear um, and that was over 10 years ago that I caught that since then I've been fishing waters with smaller fishing sort of trying to get bites runs waters things like that um, and not sticking to a water with big fishing so the last 12 to 18 months I thought to myself time for a new PB and time to get consistent so I chose this water pads lake because it's got fishing up to sort of 32 pound and I thought just get to know this water fish it consistently and eventually one will come my way um, so yes yeah, so that was the first thing I did cancelled out all my other waters um, and just fished slightly harder water but one that I knew had the potential to give me a PB so that was the first thing Second thing, I made the most of my time, tried to get out as often as I can, just on day sessions, um, if I can't do a 24 hour, even between school runs, which only leads to, once you've actually got on the bank, four hours, five hours fishing, before I've got to go and pick him up again, body up from school. Um, so making the most of my time, and then whilst I was on the bank, I wanted to be most efficient I could. Um, so I cut down a lot of my tackle, just to the basic stuff that I use all the time. Um, I'm sure we've all been guilty of it, keeping tackle in our bags that we just think, oh I might use that one day, and you never end up doing. Um, so I cut all my tackle down, um, and similar with rigs as well, um, a lot of people, as well as myself I'm sure, go through different rigs, fads of different rigs and stuff. I just cut all that out and I picked pretty much two or three rigs that I know catch fish and catch me fish that I was confident in using um, and stuck to them rigs so that I didn't have that sort of thought in my mind, is it the rig, is it this new rig, just, can't, just get rid of all that, stick to stuff that you're confident in. Same with the actual stuff the rigs are made of, so your hooks, your leader materials, anything like that, your braids, stick to stuff that you're confident in. Um, I've always sort of flitted between different hooks, trying to find out which was my best, you know, for different situations, use this hook, that hook. Again, cancel all that, strip it back, I just stuck to one hook pattern, and that was a Ridge Monkey medium curve in a size 6. It's the sharpest hook that I've found that doesn't bend over every time you reel it in. Like, I, test, I tried the Kamakuras from Corda, but every time I wound a rig in, the, the point was bent over, so I just weren't confident. Um, the cord out the packet hooks are good, I've always caught me fish, but I just felt like there must be a sharp hook out there. Trying to find that middle ground, and I found that with the Ridge Monkeys. So, I stuck to that one hook, it's a lovely pattern, razor sharp. It does bend over occasionally, because it is sharp, but not quite as often as the Kamakuras did. Um, and then bait, bait was a massive one. I was trying different baits, different tactics. Um, and then I came across sticky baits. Anyone who follows me on anything, social media or YouTube, will know that I'm a big fan of sticky. Uh, I've been using them probably for the last two years, solidly, nothing else. Um, and my catch rates have gone up massively, whether that's because I'm consistent on this water or just because of the bait, I don't know. But now all I use is them because uh, I've got maximum confidence in them and it's top quality bait as well. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And then learning the lake, really. So obviously I stripped the tackle back, found the tackle and bait that I'm confident in, and then I started uh, learning the lake, fishing different pegs, marking it up, good old fashioned way with a lead, uh, and also using the deeper. Um, whether you're a fan of that kind of thing or not, I don't know, but it really does help. Quickly just marks out your swim, jobs are good. And, uh, and then I started writing it all down in a diary so that I knew what I was turning up to every time I came. Um, and then this sort of consistency led to me catching fish on a pretty regular basis really. Um, I'm definitely catching more than I was blanking anyway. Which brings us to today really. Um, 
So yeah, full day session today, got up here early. I knew I wanted this peg, which is peg one. Um, it's up at the shallow end of the lake and in this hot weather, hence the brolly. Um, the fish definitely do migrate up towards this end. There's also, as you can probably hear in the background, fresh water flowing into the lake. So yeah, I set up on this lake, uh, on this peg, sorry. Put me rigs on the usual spots, solid bags and a zig rig because of the weather. Um, on the usual spots, got pestered with a couple of bream or possibly pike flying around the margins I have seen today. Um, yeah, weren't really doing a great deal this morning. And then there's a, a mound up to the left. So I got up on there with my, with my sunglasses on and I had a look and I could see fish cruising up and down the middle of the lake. Um, and feeding up in the top corner um, or definitely hanging around in that area. So I wound my rigs in and redid them into the areas I could see fish and probably half an hour later, if that, um, my right hand rod rattled off and what ensued, what followed that was, ensued, what followed that was a epic battle and I don't, I'm not just saying that because it was a new PB, it was probably the hardest fighting carp and it's certainly, or obviously the biggest fighting carp I've ever ever hooked, um, took me up and down the lake, just kept on going, I couldn't stop it. Um, I said to a fellow watching me, if there were catfish in here, I'd swear it were a catfish. We had a nice long battle, um, my arm was aching afterwards, and then I nearly lost it in the reeds. It swum into the reeds, uh, but I managed to sort of <laughs> scurry down the banking uh, with my net and scoop it out of the reeds, just so its big fat head stuck out, and I knew it was a common, and I knew there were commons, the, the big fish in here are generally commons, um, so yeah, and that was that, got it in the net, knew it was a bigger, knew it was a PB and immediately, shaky legs, the whole thing, um, got it in the sling, got it in the water just to rest and then compose myself and get all the camera and stuff set up really. Um, yeah, weighed it, I got a bit giddy weighing it, I didn't zero up, my, my scales are always um, generally sort of minus three pound for the weight of the sling. Uh, and up until today, that's always been really accurate. Um, I've checked it every session normally, but today I got a bit giddy, weighed it, and it came in at £30.10, um, which blew, obviously blew £21 right out of the water. I was over the moon, straight into the 30 Club. Well, that's what I thought. Anyway, did all the pictures, did some videos, put the fish back, and I thought I'll just double check my sling, because it is just sort of 10 ounces over 30 and my sling was a pound extra, a pound heavier, so that brings it down to 29.10 uh, but I'm still more than happy with that, I thought straight into the 30 club I'm going to um, struggle to beat that PB anytime soon so yeah, not that it makes, not that that one pound makes a huge bit of difference but yeah, 29 pound 10, absolutely over the moon, big common it was actually caught, that same fish was caught about 10 days ago so it's certainly been feeding um, so yeah, take a look at the fish, um, ignore my weight, talk if it's in there, if I don't edit it out. But yeah, absolutely over the moon. But I've put those things into practice that I've talked about. If you're trying to catch yourself a new PB, stay consistent, use stuff that you're confident in, and it will happen for you eventually. Well, I can't believe it. I finally got undone it. Finally broke my PB and absolutely smashed it out of the park. I was not planning on filming this. So the, uh, the audio might be terrible, but I've just got to film this. The PB before today was 21.5, and I've just got to nearly added 10 pounds to that. This is the reason I fished this lake, was these big commons, and I've just got them bagged. This beast <laughs> of ounces, and oh, there we go. Unbelievable. Over 10 years I've been waiting for this. Crazy. Got in a solid bag, as usual, sticky baits. Right out the margins as well. Unbelievable. I'm absolutely killing, my back's killing, it fought like a demon. Took me all the way down the lake. I'm shaking, I've been holding it that long for different pictures. <laughs> but yeah, just put it down and have a look at the other side. Well, it's a common, so they all look pretty much the same. Oh, unbelievable. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Over the moon. Let's get it back, give my back a rest. 
<laughs> and that brings us to the end of the video a very quick like i say impromptu video but i just thought i'd quickly throw it in there to capture the moment and just let you into a little insight into how kind of i targeted just just kept beating a pb really <laughs> um, so yeah gonna get all packed up now and get myself back home if you've enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching and subscribe and tune in to any more videos um i've got another session to put on a runs water trip that we did up here at hillside me and my friend me and my friend did a social um, made about 20 fish between us so yeah that were good so that's another video that i've got to come up yet um but yeah thanks for watching and see you in the next video